Yeah. 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 Couldn't get off the phone of what Brother Eric said on the radio on Sunday morning. I don't know how many of you heard it, but he made the statement, those who see all things in the hand of God will leave them in God's hand. Yeah. Amen. No. Yeah. It just really struck home with me listening to it. It's a pretty simple statement. But if you see that God's got it all in his hand, then you can leave them there. Amen. You can trust them there. Um, you put confidence in it. Yeah. And you just just having the thought of being in God's hands, I guess what I'm, what I'm trying to get at. Just have that on your mind. How wonderful it is to be in God's hands. Amen. No matter what the world throws at you, no matter what the doctor tells you, what happens in your life, if you're in the Creator's hands, you don't have to worry about it. Amen. If you're in the hand of the one that's still holding it all in his hand. Yeah. You got nothing to worry about. Amen. We still do. We're still human, but we don't have to. Uh, we'll start in Luke Job chapter 12, verse number 9. We see he has everything in his hands. He says, Who knoweth not in all these things that the hand of the Lord hath brought me? In whose hand is the soul of every living thing and the breath of all mankind? Yeah. Job understood. And knew we know what Job was going through when he was written. You, very few of us can say we've ever had a day like Job had. Amen. Amen. That's right. I don't know that any of us can say we've had a day like Job had. Some of us to some extent have, but not to that magnitude. Yet he still knew where he kept coming from. Amen. He was still in God's hand through all this trial. Amen. Every time they come and told him somebody else was gone, he was still in God's hand. Right. And his hand's big. Holds up the universe. And if you can believe Google, it says that the universe is approximately 546 trillion miles around. Right. That's 54 and 22 zeros after. See. You can't just strike out and walk that far. So you can't get out of his hand. Amen. Right. He, John 10 and 27, I think it is. 28. 27, my sheep hear my voice and I know them. Hey. They follow me and I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them me is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. Nobody can get to you. Nobody can take you away. Nobody can get you out of his hand. Amen. Walk and get out of it. You can drive. Amen. Uh, the Voyager 1, which is some space, something that's up there, it's been up there a long time. It says it travels a million miles a day. And it's been up there 40 years. Doing that. And it's not even got out of the solar system yet. A million miles a day for 40 years. He ain't even touched it. Not even close. Right. It's in his hand. Amen. Like I say, you can't walk and get out of it. Amen. You can't go jump over the edge and get out of his hand. No, no matter how bad it gets, you're still in there. Amen. So, why are we worried, dread, and fear so much? Because we're not trusting in his hand. Yeah. We're not. Realizing that all things are in his hand and leaving them there. He can take care of them. He's the one that made this thing. Mm -hmm. He created us and everything around us. Boy, it's pretty comfortable to know you're in his hand, isn't it? Right. You don't have to, no matter what goes sideways today, no matter what tears up, he knows all about it. Amen. He's able to help us if we just trust him. And we're all guilty of not doing it like we should. Right. So, what a joy it can be if we trust him every day with it. Amen. And we realize every day that God is in your hand. Amen. It's out of mine. I can't do anything about it. We can't do our own right now. But He knows what we need before we ask. We just hold tight to that. Then I'm going to be in His hand. Amen. There's safety in His hand. There's no safer place. Right. Uh, 
kind of struggled with this, and I already thought I should have seen if it made sense on the church, but the whole world's in his hands, so the lost and saved right. is all got to be in his hands. Right. I feel like those of us that are saved are in the middle, closer to the center of his hand. The, the, the place of ultimate protection is close to the center of who he is. And maybe we're not as close to there as we are to be when we're talking not, but made sense to me. I don't know if it makes sense to you. If it don't, just throw it away. But yeah. the rest of the world is outside of that. Yeah. They're still in hand. Yeah. He's still in control. Right. But they're not saved. They're not in that inner part. Yeah. Right. Take that for what it is. But there's you can trust him. Trust him, man. There's security, comfort, strength. There's no stronger hand that you can talk about or think about. Amen. Most of all, there's love. Amen. For God so loved the world. Amen. That he's only got the Son. Amen. Whosoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. Eternity in his hand. Eternal life. Anything and everything that you allow or ever need is in his hand. Amen. Now, we try to act like we got it under control and we know what's going on. And <coughs> we don't. He always does. Yeah. And he always will. Amen. And I'm so thankful that we're safe in his hand. Amen. And you can trust him. You can trust what he said. Everything that's been down in this book, and this is no word here in the half of it. You can believe every word of it. Yeah. Guaranteed. No backing up. He's never made a promise in his keep. That's right. He's never let one of his school children go out of his hand. He's never let a lost person go out of his hand, yeah. for that matter. He's still in control of days like he's always been. Yeah. And you can trust him. That Dad talked about preaching many years ago. I still remember it. I really do. It's supposed, to, it's supposed to have been a true story. A man and a little boy was in a big city somewhere in New York, Boston somewhere, big city, years ago. Something came up with the man's work and he couldn't take the son with him into the building where he had to go. He had to leave him out in the park on the bench. Little bitty boy. I don't know, four or five, six years old maybe. And he said, son, I hate to do this, but I gotta leave you here for just a little while. I'll be back. You stay here and wait on me. I'm coming back to get you. Don't you go anywhere. So there's kids playing around here. You can play right here, but don't go, go far from this bench. Something came up and it was hours before he could get back. Even got dark before he could get back. He was in a panic, panic knowing when he got back that little boy wasn't gonna be there. But he got back and walked up to the bench and the little boy sat there. Said, Son, it's been hours. And you still, I can't believe you're still checking what I told you. The daddy was going to kill you. Yeah. Yeah. That's how simple it is. Right. Amen. He, God, he trusted him. He knew daddy wouldn't lie to him. Amen. Daddy just said, stay right here. That's, that's, that's what it's about. Amen. He's doing what he said. Trust him. And you can trust him. You can't trust him, right? Yeah. You can't trust me. I'll let you down. You can trust him. So glad that I'm in his hands. Amen. Don't deserve it at all, but I'm so thankful. Amen. There's salvation in his hands. Amen. Best part of all. Life and death is in his hands. Say the bad son, you whether they live or they die, but the Lord. He's in control of that. You're not, I'm not. I had nothing to do with the day I was born. I didn't have a bit of control over that. I don't have any control over the day I die. He's in charge of that. He's in charge of all of it. Mm -hmm. So, I thought about it, and you think about people like to have their name up in lights in the world. They're famous. <clears throat> Be in a book somewhere. <clears throat> There's three places that your name is going to be. Right. <clears throat> First of all, the day when you were born, <clears throat> everybody sitting here in front of me is recorded the day you were born. That's written down somewhere. And better yet, it was written down before you were born. Mm -hmm. right. God knew right. about it. Right. Everybody that will be born now, right. on, their right. name's there. Good as there already. Number two, there's the day you got saved, born again. Right. There, there's a place after your name. Mm -hmm. There's a date. There's a place for that date. 
for your memories. It's reserved for you. Been there before he created the heaven and earth. He knows what David is. And he knows if you're going to forget him or not. The spot's still there. It's blank if he's not there. Mm -hmm. right. But it's there. Right. All those people aren't born yet. He's there. Mm -hmm. Reserved. Mm -hmm. Already paid for. Took care of. You don't have to come up with any money. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do anything. Right. But believe, just like the little boy on the beach. Amen. Just trust what he says. Amen. That's all you got to do. Yeah. And your name will be there. Yeah. Right. And then there's another place for a name, which will be the day you die. Uh, and he knows what day that is, too. Yeah. It's as good as already stamped in. Right. right. But I thought about this. I wonder, could be, that says rapture. Wouldn't that be good? Uh, yeah. Well, there's still a chance. We're still here yeah. walking the breeze. Right. Amen. So beside our name, it could say rapture. It could say Just not to think about it. Get excited about it. Mm -hmm. But Revelations 20. That's you. Yeah. And that's a sad thing. But the good news is, this is the bad news. Amen. The good news is, yeah. your blank's not filled in yet. Yeah. Yeah. You're still walking, breathing, taking in air, and you still have opportunity. Yeah. Amen. Now, if you or I reject that, I believe you very well could reject it. Stamp it rejected this day. Yeah. Last time you had, last chance you had. Right. Could be the day. Right. 2 23 22 could be it. Mm. Now I'm not trying to scare anybody into anything. Just telling you the truth. Amen. Right. Amen. That's, that's what it says. And you, again, like the little boys believing in, you can believe what it says. It's right. true. Mm. It's going to happen. Right. Whosoever was not found written in the book of life. Cast in the lake of fire. You can't get out. And everybody's name that is written is going to be in heaven with him forever. And it don't have to be. You don't have to be one of these people in this verse. His big old hand still stretched out. Amen. Say, so, come on. I've done it all. I've taken it all. You don't have to bring me in. You don't have to bring anything. Amen. You just got to come believe it. Realizing you're lost without him. You can't do it yourself. Because you can't. Yeah. But he can. Right. And he Amen. wants to. And he will. <coughs> you have your name stamped today. Mm -hmm. If he's dealing with you. Amen. And as long as he's dealing with you, you still got a chance. Yeah. But one day, it can stop. Mm -hmm. Right. We don't deserve any chances. Right. Much less more than one. Mm -hmm. yeah. He would be just in just giving us one. Right. 
he would still be God if he only did this one. Mm-hmm. But I'm sure glad he didn't stop at that. Because mm-hmm. I'd have been one of these in the sweater. Amen. I'm sure mm-hmm. most of us sitting here would be. Amen. That's right. I don't know if too many people just went around with a towel. But uh, if this is you, this is your chance. Amen. If he's speaking to you already about it, you can do something about it. Mm-hmm. You can accept that free gift. You can move into that middle part of his hand and be saved and not have to worry anymore. You'll still have trouble. You'll still have to fight this old place every day. Right. But you can be happy doing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're going to meet him one day. And uh, I guess we'll stop right there. I know it's been kind of all over the place, but I believe that's all you can say. Amen. Uh, if you've got something to read or say, help yourself. <laughs>